Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to do muzzle flash with smoke effects only using Caden Live. So let's get started. As you can see I've already got Caden Live open and the three elements you're going to need is the video of the person shooting the weapon. Actually I have somebody miming shooting the weapon and you gotta make sure that they jerk the weapon back and why that didn't show up I don't know. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, well, okay, when he jerks back like that, that is where you're going to put the muzzle flash in. Also, you'll need the flash. Uh, you can download these on the internet, different sites. You want to look for public domain stuff. I see here um, in the clip. There we go. We got nice flash with a smoke effect and I got this one at Deton yeah, detonation films you're also going to need a gun sound effect okay let's start off here we'll drag the video that we're going to be using onto the timeline and we'll switch over to the project monitor. Let's bring that out so we can see it a little better. Once again, here is person walks on, and there you go. Now, this is the spot we need to find right where he pulls the gun back. Okay. Now, we'll drag in our flash. Now this is just here temporarily. We'll put that into place here in a minute. Let it run. Now you see uh, they put their own little mark on the front there. Let's run that back. So there's our muzzle flash. So we'll take one frame forward. And we cut that right there and we'll delete that get back to our select tool okay we'll drag this up onto the first line now we've got to go and find right the exact spot it's so right there where he pulls the gun up So we can run this back and forth one frame at a time. Right there's where he starts to lift it. So let's go back one more frame. And drag this so it's going to be close. Approximately where you want it. Now the question is how do we get this down onto the video? So you right click your effect. Go to add transitions. And then find screen. Now we've added the screen transition. Stretch that out there. You see this is the screen transition. You've got other transitions here but screen is the one we need. Well, when you view it you'll see that everything is backwards. The, the, the cannon effect comes at the wrong side and it's way too large for this. So how do we fix that? Right click on the flash effect and go to add video effects and come up here to rotate and shear. Now you see here you'll be able to rotate that particular clip Let's run this back a little bit. We want to get to where the actual flash is. That'll be the easiest part to line up. Okay. Next frame. There we go. You see we're already out of sync with this. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get that lined up here in a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Let's 
Okay, first we'll finish rotating. We'll get this horizontal. Now, the nice thing about this is you'll be able to orientate it with the weapon that you're using. But you can also see it's way too big for the size of a weapon. Let's see if we can get this lined up a little better. Let's move to where he starts to lift the gun and we'll get this here. Yeah, this is this part can be annoying. Okay, there's the flash. Now, time to resize. You see here this this moves around. This will move your flash and you'll need to resize it. Let's bring it down to about here. Okay, and there. Now that's closer to what we need. And what you'll want to do now is move it directly in front of the barrel of the gun. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we'll see how we got things lined up. There we go. That, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to add in the sound effect. Let's move this back to right at the beginning, right when it does the flash, because this is where we're going to need to add the sound effect. Drag this down to the timeline, down to the audio timeline. Now you see here, let's stretch this out just a little bit, that there's a little bit of extra sound here at the beginning that we don't need. I'm going to move this right up to where we're going to need the sound. And then you can just simply trim that part off. Now the sound's probably going to be a little off that my screencast seems to delay just a little bit. But uh, let's see how this lines up. Okay, a little jerky, but I think we got it in the right place. Okay, now we've got all our elements lined up. We've got the flash, we've got our screen transition, and we've got the original video, and of course our sound effect. Nothing left to do now but render it. And what I'll do, because I know this won't turn out right, what I'll do is uh, I'll put an annotation, say like right here, and you can click on that and go and actually see the actual video of it. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching my screencast. I'd like to make a special thanks to Simply the Best. That's where I got the sound effect and Detonation Films for the Canon Flash. Also, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you would like to see more tutorials like this, please give me a thumbs up. You can comment below. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Thank you very much.